Hello, and welcome back to Splatoon 2 Single Player. I'm Mr. Viperfang, and last time, we completed stages 10 and 11, and we got access to a bucket. It's just a bucket, and they're treating it as a weapon. Yeah, I know, I'm surprised as you are. Anyway, today, we're gonna go on ahead and access the next two levels, levels 12 and 13. Uh, is it over here? Nope, this is level 14. Well, time to go searching for level 12. Alright. Braving the crates. There we go. The air is level 12. Ooh, Octo's Resort Spring. Everybody bounce. Let's go. Alright, this is gonna be a fun one. And, yep, we get the hero shot, so... Enjoy low fire rate all day, every day. Well, at least we're using the stock weapon for this level. We're also introduced to bounce pads in this stage. Basically, they can make you go bounce very high or very low. It depends on if you're pressing the B button or not. Ow. Oh. Thought I wouldn't be able to get him, but apparently I was uh, to enough to the side of him to be able to do that. Got ya. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Aha, I got ya! In your face! I must find one of these bounce pads for some research. I'll be honest, Sheldon, you want one of these so you can have bouncy days on them. Gonna have fun bouncing on them all day. Bouncy days. The things my mind likes to think of. Oh. Alright, got the key. And now let's bounce our way over to the next area. Alright, so nothing over there and a whole bunch of death over that way. Alright, we're gonna have to navigate uh, each box. And we've got one of those shower guys from the first game. And we're being introduced to them this early. Actually, I think we got introduced to them in a level 12 of the first game, too. All right, I want to get over there so I can... Oh, boy. All right. Get up, get up, get up! Yes, Sardinium! Aha, in your face! Thought I got hit you by you uh, more than once. And the neat little thing about your bombs is uh, they bounce off of these uh, things as well. All right, we got the sardinium. Should be good to go until much later in the level when we're gonna be searching for the sunken scroll. Ow. Ah, I made it over, ow. Well, at least I had armor equipped. There we go, got him. Okay, got over. Very good. Uh, let's see. Let's get up here. Oh, very good. Thank you for letting me use you as a uh, platform. I'll take my suck. I'll take my sunken scroll and then just go over this way. All right, we should be good to go until the end of the stage, so I'm just gonna go on ahead and do a nice little uh, drop down here, down this way. Oh, dang it. Yeah, it's very hard to get all these eggs on this little uh, big drop. I like to try to get them as many as possible. Oh well. All right, last stretch. Let's make it a very good one. Probably not gonna bother getting uh, any groups of eggs. I'm just gonna go straight for the end. Oh, great, we got Octo Snipers. All right, I think I can avoid them. All right, got him. Gonna go back for the armor. 
Oh, that was close. Got him. Got armor. Let's go. Gotcha. Boing. Boing. And done. That's it. All right, next stage. All right, level 12 taken care of, and we got both of the collectibles. These must be photographs taken by some young adult inklings. Are these so-called twinklings trying to convince their peers that their lives are exciting and full of meaning, or are they trying to convince themselves? The deeper you get. Also, it's a parody of uh, teens trying to fit in in life, basically. All right, uh, let's head over to stage 13 then. All right, I've got all the stages unlocked, so the rest of this uh, level hopping should be a breeze after this. Ooh. This is gonna be the weapon. If this is gonna be the weapon I'm thinking of, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I have the biggest smile on my face right now, because we're getting the Heavy Splatling. Or Hero Splatling in this case. This thing can turn you into a one squid army. It's the Hero Splatling. Hold ZR to charge it up, then release the button to release a fat stream of ink. Charging it up leaves you pretty vulnerable to attack though, so be careful. All right. <laughs> I will rain destruction on all these boxes, ow. I'm just gonna jump. Oh, I can't even jump that high? Okay. They gave us the perfect weapon to use for this area. Because I love the Splatling. Basically, any level is gonna be good for the Splatling. Except maybe one or two levels, but yeah, the Splatling is probably the most versatile of all the weapons you'll be using. That and the Charger, probably. And we're also introduced to these nice little uh, drum mechanisms, which cause platforms to appear. And let's see how much uh, ink his uh, armor plating can resist. <laughs> oh, all of it. Although I think I did miss a couple of shots. Oh, dang it. Oh well, let's continue. There's some ink in your eye, bitch! Ow! Just tank the hit and you'll be fine. Oh wow, those came out of nowhere. Okay, I made it. Alright, just checking for any hidden inkling, or any hidden octolings. You never know. Let's continue up. I'm gonna hit this thing again. Nope. I want this as out as much as possible because there is something that I can grab if I'm quick enough. And I was quick enough. And it's the Sardinium. All right, let's continue. There's a bunch of crates here. Maybe if I can, uh, just... Maybe I'll just walk through silently. They won't notice me. Maybe. Yep, they noticed me. Oh, well. They're gonna die then. Oh, we have a guy underneath the ink. Thought he could hide from me, huh? Wow, I got him with one full crank of the splat length. All right, I don't think I can get over there yet, so I'm not gonna worry. Also, there's some sprinklers here, so let's pop them for some eggs. Ah, there is a... Uh... Oh wait, I can't get up there yet, can I? I have to go over here first. There we go. And it's just eggs. 
That's not a bad thing, though. I'm get I need all the eggs I can get if I want to get an upgraded uh, splatter shot. I think I'm gonna go on ahead and pre-ink my path. Screw it, I'm just going. Bring it on. Bring it on. All right, uh, I think there's something down here actually. There's armor and eggs, okay. Nothing of importance really. Although the armor is probably going to help me out a little bit. Oh god. Okay, there wasn't a gap there. Thought I wouldn't have been able to jump a non-existent gap. Alright, now let's go after a sunken scroll. There we go. Now oh, there's armor over there. I want the armor so bad. Oh god. Okay. Oh yeah, if your uh if your armor is completely gone and you get to a checkpoint, it's automatically restored. You also get an extra life if you're if you uh are missing any. So it's a good idea to uh get as many checkpoints as possible if you're prone to death. And I should probably follow my own advice for some of the later levels because you can have the... There's the potential of losing uh, two lives in a single section if you're not careful. Oh. I almost got him. Uh, up, up, up. Okay. All right. Final checkpoint and no sunken scroll yet. I'm concerned. I am so concerned right now. Also, this is going to be difficult to get by because these guys can be very annoying on such a small walkways. And jump. Okay. Nope. Okay. Made it. Grab this quickly. Get back over here where it's a little safer. Oh no. Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato! I lost. Ah! You decided not to pursue me and instead went on your automatically uh, programmed path. Alright, you're dead. You're dead. Should be something I can hit over there. Boom. And I missed the sunken scroll. That's not a good thing, is it? Oh, shoot. Maybe if I had the charger, I could get over there early, but I'm going to have to jump on you. There we go. All right. I'm going to come back in here and find that sunken scroll. Oh yeah, we can use the uh, Splatling now in the overworld. All right, let's go. Well, I think I know where the sunken scroll is. The only problem is I gotta get up on top of one of these guys and that's not gonna be very fun at all. I think I have to wait for one of these guys to pass over the zip line there. There we go. Now nah, I just need to wait to get all the way over there. Yes, get me closer, get me closer. Ha ha! I made it! Alright, let's get to the end of the level then. Oh! So you can make it over here. Cool. Let's see what the sunken scroll says. 
The most fashionable gear is crafted with the latest in textile technology, heating materials to produce smooth curves or distressing stiff fabrics to increase suppleness and change their look are common techniques. So it's basically just a rundown of what the, uh, how the gear is created. Alright, so we took care of two more stages. Yes. Alright. We're all done for today then. So next time we're going to go on ahead and take care of stages 14 and 15. And looks like stage 15 is going to have some uh, more Octolings to take care of. I welcome it. I'll be ready to snipe them. Later.